Hey guys, this is Deepa Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to see how to clean your hob or gas stove to remove all those ugly looking uh, oil, grease and uh, burnt stains that are really stubborn to remove so that your stove will look uh, clean, neat and shiny just like this. So let's get started. Before uh, moving to the video, please make sure you get subscribed to my channel Deep's Kitchen and also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. So uh, when it's come to your gas stove cleaning, uh, first uh, you have to remove the stand and also the burner. And uh, we have to uh, work on this uh, burner plates and also the burner club. And uh, finally, this glass top. So whether you are using a built-in or a standalone, the procedure is same to clean and also the parts also same. So first I am going to remove all the burners and stands uh, because we are going to soak it up in a hot water with some vinegar and baking soda. So here I have a wide bowl with 5 liters of hot water. Make sure you are using a wide bowl like this so that you can put all the burners and uh, uh, stands everything inside. So you will also need a old toothbrush, uh, cleaning sponge, uh, microfiber cloth or paper towel, bowl and spoon, baking soda and vinegar. So you can replace vinegar with uh, fresh lemon juice as well uh, but I don't have lemon now so I'm using a vinegar. So first uh, into your uh, uh, bowl with hot water add uh, 3 teaspoons of baking soda, 3 tablespoons of vinegar and just 1 tablespoon of dishwashing liquid. And then add all the stands and also burners inside. So when you are doing uh, this, make sure that uh, you are done with cooking and you are not going to switch on your stove for next 4 to 5 hours. So I have soaked up all the burners and stand in there. And now take a bowl with 2 teaspoons of baking soda and uh, just 1 teaspoon of vinegar just to make a paste like this and now using your toothbrush apply it on the burner plates okay uh, inside the burner cup uh, we are not going to apply only you have to apply on the burner plates so I'm just going to apply on four burner plates uh, and uh, you have to leave uh, just like this for at least uh, you know 10 to 15 minutes so in the meanwhile uh, we will do cleaning inside the burner cups okay the burner cups is actually the this one and you can see inside there is uh, uh, some uh, oil and grease so for cleaning it uh, I'm not going to do a wet cleaning I'm going to do a dry cleaning how means uh, just take a metal scrub and cut into small piece like this and you can simply use that metal scrub and um, rub it inside to remove that uh, stubborn stains So once you are sure everything is removed, you can use a paper towel and wipe it off and remove it. This way it's so easy for you to clean inside. You don't need to wet it with some water or uh, any vinegar or uh, baking soda mixture or even any soap water. It come out easily just like that. And once you are done with cleaning these burner cups, you can proceed to cleaning the burner plates. So here I have an old toothbrush and um, in this uh, spray bottle, I have a dishwashing liquid with the plain water. So just spray in over your toothbrush just to wet it. And then uh, you can rub it around this uh, burner plate to remove all those stubborn stains. So if it is too stubborn to remove, then you can simply use a metal scrub itself. So just rub it until uh, you are sure all the dirts are removed and uh, you have to do it in a circular motion you know that way uh, they get um, removed very easily. And if you think uh, it's hard to reach few uh, places like uh, around the bur burner cups and around the screws and all. So you can use a sharp tool uh, simply like you know a toothpick or a wooden skewers. They are so good in removing these uh, around the corners you know 
those brushes and uh, even the metal scrub cannot reach this place. So simply use a sharp tool like this, uh, probably wooden one like wooden skewers or a toothpick would definitely work out in this. So once you are done with removing all this, uh, you can wipe it off with a paper towel. So you can see now the burner cup and also the burner plates are completely cleaned and now I am just spraying off some soap water and wiping, wiping it off with a damp towel. In the same way I have cleaned all the burner cups and burner plates and finally I am uh, just removing all the dirt over the glass top and now it's time to clean up the uh, glass top. Even if you are having a stainless steel you can follow the same procedure. First I sprayed in the soap water and then I am wiping it off with a paper towel to remove all the oil and grease and then uh, uh, finally I wipe it off with a damp towel. I just dipped it in a plain tap water and then I am wiping it off finally. So, so now my gas stove looks so clean, neat and shiny just like a new one and all the oil, grease, stubborn stains, uh, burnt one everything is removed. Okay, so now uh, I'm just going to remove all the dirt uh, inside this joint. You know, if you're having a built-in one, probably you will have this problem like uh, all the dirt will uh, accumulate uh, in there. So you can also use uh, that wooden skewer or a toothpick itself, uh, the dirt and wipe it away. And if you're using a standalone one, then uh, clean it under the gas towel. And now it's time for us to scrub all the dirt and uh, oil grease in this burner and also in the stand. So they have been soaked for around 30 minutes. So now I am just uh, going to start cleaning up the stainless steel ring. Okay, uh, the burner is actually iron so I have to concentrate uh, mainly uh, to the stainless steel ring only. So I am just using a metal scrub and I am rubbing it away. You can see since we soaked up in vinegar and baking soda mixture, so easy for me to remove all the stains. So once I am done with cleaning all the burner, I am going to uh, start up with the cleaning the stands. So for that also I am using a metal scrub only, Ru uh, just rub it until uh, all the oils and grease are removed from there and then uh, all the stands and burners needs to be washed in a plain water. So now here I have a, a newspaper, you can also use a towel. Oh my god, <laughs> what happened to my stand? <laughs> okay. So here uh, I have a, a two lines of a newspaper, we are just going to dry off all the burners over there. So just line up all your burners here. If you wish uh, you can put it in a hot sun, they will dry in just 2 to 3 hours. But uh, by the time I am filming, uh, it was actually evening, so I am just doing it uh, um, inside my kitchen itself. I am just going to leave it overnight and next day it will be dry. You can see this burner ring is uh, completely cleaned, there is no stains at all. Okay, so after uh, um, around 2 to 3 hours, you can flip it over to next side so that they will get dry both sides quickly. Okay, so once it's dried completely and you are sure that there is no wetness at all, it is ready to fix in your hob. So after drying it for around 7 to 8 hours, all the burners are completely dried. I am going to place in my hob. And I'm just placing all the stands. And now 
So now my hob looks so clean and neat and it looks shiny as well and there is no oil grease or any stubborn strings. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to subscribe or follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Bye-bye.